everybody. Today I'm going to tell you about State Library Victoria. It's an amazing place with so much things to do and it's completely free. First thing that you can do is that if you're a kid and you like fun and you like huge spaces and you like fun things, arts, crafts, coloring, etc. Then what you can then you can ask your mom or your dad to take you to State Library Victoria at 10 o'clock. Then the, the kids quarter will be will start and then you can go inside. It's huge. It's massive. You can do you can play games like hide and seek and tag in there. You can also get coloring sheets and paper from the from the staff sometimes. And you can also color them with the coloring pencils that they also give you. And another thing that you can do is that you can come on the school holidays. Like last time when we went to kids takeover in July school holidays, there were some emu mascots which were pretty cool and acted like real emus. There were tote bags that you could draw on. You could, they gave you like markers that you could draw and create your own tote bag. There were also building blocks. So there were wooden building blocks that you could build with. And it was pretty fun. There's also a dance party. You could dance and, you know, do a little boogie. And there was also an arts and crafts place where you could design your own project. And there is also a theater show called The Flying Bookworm. They performed three stories. They were very funny. And if you were lucky, you could have gotten up on stage and performed. And there's also a magic show. That included Pokemon cards, or should I say, Packy Wow cards. The staff here are pretty nice, so if you have any questions or anything, you can tell them, and they'll happily answer it. I know because I've asked the staff a lot of questions, because I'm a curious kid, and they answered. I'm going to tell you some fun facts about State Library Victoria, and they are, trust me, they are interesting. So, one of the fun facts is that State Library Victoria is almost 200 years old. There's another fun fact that it is the seventh most haunted library in the world. And if you like creepy stuff, then you should definitely go there at night, even though you probably wouldn't be allowed. And I give a five out of five. It's pretty nice and I like it very much. So if you like fun and you like horror and you and you just like having a big, nice space to roam around, or you just like nature, or you like reading or studying, then you should definitely go to State Library Victoria. Okay, goodbye!